I got myself a new helmet and it is awesome. It's Fastlane. Hey guys, welcome to Fastlane. On today's episode, we are gonna be talking about my new, my brand new helmet, which I absolutely love. It's the SS2600 Fame and Fortune helmet from Speed and Strength. Basically, this helmet comes in about three different colorways. You can get it in a matte black with a dark tinted visor, no graphics at all, and it also comes with a clear visor as well. You can get it in the Fame and Fortune edition, which comes like this. It's basically a matte black with the gold all over, which I think looks absolutely, absolutely phenomenal, personally. Comes with a gold uh, shield and a clear shield as well. And this also comes in the Fame and Fortune edition as a gray, with I think the graphics are like uh, maybe black and uh, has kind of a bluish shield and a clear shield as well. All right, things about this helmet that I really, really like. Obviously the styling. I think the styling is completely on point with this helmet. I don't know if you'd call this like, man, it's got fuzz on it. Um, if you'd call this basically sort of a hooligan adventure style helmet, I'd say it sits somewhere, somewhere in there. Um, pretty cool, um, personally. I think it looks a bit like an adventure helmet or maybe almost an MX style helmet. Um, you can definitely wear goggles with this. Uh, the shield does not fit down over the goggles like some adventure helmets do, but you know, I just click the shield up and put goggles on. It's what I do in the morning. You guys know that. But essentially, I think the style of this helmet is absolutely killer and it really kind of blows my mind because nobody's been talking about this helmet, like at all. I mean, I have the only two videos on YouTube and I've had them on there for like, I don't know, eight or 10 months that I was searching for this helmet. It was only available in Canada at the time. There's not another video on YouTube except I think from Speed and Strength themselves. And I think maybe it's because this helmet has got possibly like a little bit of bad, bad publicity. Like, oh, it's way too bobble-headed. The, the shield's too big. Um, I don't know. Maybe people just don't like Speed and Strength. For me, I've had a lot of success with Speed and Strength. I mean, I've had a couple misses along the way. We all know that. And But this helmet is designed by Speed and Strength. And I think they absolutely, look at this sucker. They absolutely did a killer killer did i say killer killer job on this thing man So this helmet comes in two shell sizes. Now that's probably a bit of a negative. You know, better helmets come in three or four shell sizes. So I believe it goes from like extra small up to medium, and then it goes large to like maybe two XL. I don't know if it goes above that. I really can't remember. Um, so I went ahead and got a large. You know, I kind of was like, well, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I, I barely fit into a large, but I usually get a large and I was afraid to get a medium because I was afraid it was gonna be too small. But I actually was like, I almost got a medium because I'd heard it was kind of a bobble heady looking helmet, but it's really not. I mean, if you're if you're used to like MX style helmets, they pretty much they they fit pretty big, honestly, and it, it just doesn't look weird to me. I've went out and rode with it. I've watched my own videos of it. You'll see a little bit of that, and it does not look weird or bobbleheaded on me at all. Now, perhaps if you're a smaller person and you still have to get a large, you know, yeah, you're going to get a shell size that goes large. XL, 2XL, and whatever, above, I don't know. Um, and maybe that's gonna look a little big on you if you're a smaller smaller person. I'm not really small, so it looks fine on me, but I think it fits absolutely fine, personally. I don't think it's an issue. Um, it's pretty much just an ABS plastic shell. There's nothing fancy in this thing. It is DOT and ECE rated, as you see as you see right there. So we all know DOT doesn't really mean that much. You know, DOT is just kind of like an honor system and the testing's 
not very stringent and people can just say, yeah, we did the test and probably didn't even do it. But this one also comes with the European ECE, which is a much more stringent and it's, uh, it's it takes a lot more, uh, I guess they watch that stuff a lot more. I don't know. So it's a relatively safe helmet. It's not Snell by any means, but it definitely gets the job done. Um, another thing that's cool, if you click this visor up right here, it's kind of got this little thing in the middle that you just click it up, is it actually has internal drop-down sun visor. Now, you guys know if you've watched the videos at all that I don't really use that. I don't care for the fighter pilot look. It's not really my thing. I just like a nice dark shield. Now these, like I said, come with a clear shield and the tinted, either the gold or the blue or the dark smoke, depending on what helmet you get, which is, I think it's freaking amazing, dude. I got this helmet after it started out at like $350 last year. I got this thing for $102, absolutely brand new, which blows my mind. I mean, this helmet is worth far more than that. I love it because of the price, but I would love this helmet at 250, 300 bucks, easy. So another thing that's really cool is this helmet has the speaker cutouts for your Bluetooth or your Senna mesh system, which is what I what I got here. It's pretty awesome. You, you should watch my video on it. Um, the cutouts are like spot on. Some helmets seem to like when they do a cutout, they're in a weird spot. But with this helmet, the cutouts for the Bluetooth are absolutely spot on or your mesh system like I got here, the Senna mesh. You should watch my video on it. It's great. All right, what else about this helmet? It is very, very quiet. Matter of fact, I went out and did some moto vlogging with it and I could definitely tell the difference when the shield was open and when it was closed as to uh, sound coming in from the outside. I think a lot of it has to do with all the padding right here. There's a lot of padding that really surrounds your neck and makes it incredibly, incredibly quiet. Another thing about this helmet that I think is awesome is you can literally flip this up throw on a pair of goggles and you pretty much got an adventure style MX looking style helmet. And uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about the shield fogging up in the mornings. So if there's anything I'm gonna say about this thing that's negative, it's actually pretty hard for me to say anything negative about this helmet, man. I mean, this look at this thing. It's awesome, and I got it for 100 bucks, you know? Um, if I'm gonna say a couple negative things, one is there's not really a detents, uh, not a low one at least. It kinda has to crack about an inch open like that, which is not, you know, it's not perfect, but it's not a deal breaker for me at all. And the last thing is probably the button on the chin strap here is a little bit high. So you gotta, it's a little bit challenging to get up there to snap your chin strap um, when you are got gloves on, but no big deal. All right, so that is the SS2600 Fame and Fortune helmet from Speed and Strength. I highly recommend it. If I were you, I would get an eBay right now and order me one while they're like, they're like 100 bucks. Yeah. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Get yourself a new helmet. It's Fastlane.